explain the let's culture. Explain. Let's explain. Let's go for There's it. Let's a go. This is important. This is important. Do you want to do it? Yeah, just for... Diba? Context. Just for ref- yeah, give them some context. So, tapings usually last anywhere from three months, four months, up to however long your show yeah. runs. Two years, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then after, you go do another show. That's just how it works. You go do another show. So, our school years are really short. Yeah. Um... <laughs> so there's a term taping friends it's a funny well-known term in the industry yeah. where we are referring to people who are we we're friends with them on the set and then once we leave we'll just never talk no, to each other na. again na. You know, yeah. i mean when you see each other again it's also hey but you don't check on them no. yeah, yeah wala, wala. <laughs> Like, oh, let's hang out. Walang ganun. Like, ang dami nang sa mga buhay niyo lahat-lahat. And, you know yun. We just see oh. you and take Nanganak it. na sila. Oh. Like, oh, na sila. No, and it's funny because the people that you're actually friends with are the people you never work with. Even in the industry. True. Yeah. Like, yung mga showbiz friends mo talaga. Like, I've never worked with, like, Sam. Ever. Magalona. So, Magalona. Yes. Okay. But she's my good friend. Mm-hmm. And things like that. Have you ever worked with, like, Michelle or Max? I worked with Max and we didn't become friends. Oh, you wait, what? Only, you didn't, you didn't become, become friends. friends. No, it was only afterwards. Um, yeah, this was uh, in the one that got away, and the one with Lovey. Yeah, oh. L- Lovey, Max, and me. Yeah, you guys were like girls. super solid na bida dun, de ba? Yeah, and uh, yeah, we we ended that show not becoming friends. Okay, no, <laughs> we, so we've curious. had these conversations once in a while, de ba? We'll talk about like the odd, slightly intimate topic, maybe. Yeah. But <laughs> we don't reveal secrets. Ah, I don't okay. know what's alam mo yon. I I don't know how she feels. Yeah. I don't know what's happening in with her life. in her life and whatever. Just you know, we just politely talk to each other. Yeah. Yeah. And then the pandemic hit and we're like the freaking best of friends. Oh my. What happened? Like what what was what was different? What what happened? I'm so curious. Like How, Well, the thing is, I I really had trouble making female friends for mm. a very very long time. My only female friend for many many years was Bianca King. Okay, yeah. And oh, in the yeah. pandemic, she moved away and she now lives in Australia. Mm. And I was living alone. I was yeah. like alone alone like Yeah. No helper alone. No, no, no one alone. So throughout the pandemic, yeah. Oh my gosh! For a good three years, it's like anytime I felt anything, anytime anything happened to me, I really had no one to talk to yeah. about it. And Michelle D and I just started for some reason like sending each other photos of furniture just on randomly. Instagram. And she was she's close <clears> with <throat> Max Pa. Yeah. Before pandemic. Michelle and I weren't friends either. I okay. just caught on her feed one time. She posted like this furniture and I commented on it. Yeah. And then we started sending each other furniture. It was like this crazy, like we can't get enough <laughs> furniture. So yeah. yeah. Stop. And then one day like we made, I can't remember who asked who yeah. out, but we were like, want to go gun shooting? <laughs> so super weird. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, super specific, super weird. Like, want to go to like under Makati Cinema Square and shoot some guns in a pandemic. <laughs> We're like, yeah, why not? So we did that. And that was the one time we hung out. We got along really well. It was super natural. I met Michelle before. We didn't talk to each other at all. We didn't yeah. see like, We were actually like competing for the attention of Solen at the time. <laughs> we just both wanted to be friends with Solen. We were like, ah, whatever. But yeah, so yun yung nagkayayaan kami. And after that, our next yaya and I was, you want to go to Davao? <laughs> like, let's well, travel well, together. I, I, <laughs> and that's when Michelle brought in her best friend for a long yeah. time, Max. Uh, her other best friend for a very long time, Janina Manipal. Yeah. And we all went. And now we're all a gang gang. Besties. <laughs> I really like that story. I'm Besties sorry. No, it's so, such a cute story. But it's so interesting because nga, parang you never thought that these people these friends would actually be your real life friends and people that you could actually tell secrets to people yeah. that you could run to and just vent out at any given time and they would gladly listen i was so pleasantly surprised and like after a few months of you know having this relationship i i like thought to myself i'm like how did i live my life 
not having female friends. Because you you just no offense to guys, but <laughs> I mean no offense to guys. Like it's great to have guy friends, but like what diba? you can share with a girl that has a menstrual cycle, yeah. you know, that has the same hormones as you and like you just have this natural understanding for things you found your tribe yeah yeah and like i totally get it it's so good for your health mm. <laughs> mentally also yeah mentally. it is so good for your health i am a much better person now oh, that i have I'm happy for you you guys hear <laughs> that it's because of you that she's better yeah i like that i, I imagine like that i used to only have taping friends now you and have now friends. i'm you no longer friends. afraid of opening up because i found out that there are people that will get me that's cool. And that they won't judge you and just yeah. leave you hanging. Yeah. So <laughs> now, now that we're doing our show, I'm. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm much more open. I noticed. He, I he noticed. told me that. He told like, me that also. A lot of people told me already. I'm known for not talking to people. Oh, can I interject for there? I have something. Love of my life. It wasn't you talking. I was the one who was mahuli. I yeah. was the one. I was the one who yeah, was like, yeah, we were sure. having scenes together. I was like. Yeah, I'm with her already. Madaldal ako. I'ma talk to you. And mabait ka naman when you're talked to. Like yeah. you open up when you're talked to. Yeah. But yeah. you won't, won't be the, the one person. to like reach out and talk. But in this one, in Royal Blood, yes, I n noticeably you are much more open here. I'm like, oh wow, that's yeah. cool. She having fun here. Mm -mm. I think it's just the realization that I will not be rejected or judged. Mm -mm. Maybe that's nice. For me, taping friends, I don't know if you but if you meant it anyway, I don't think there's any negative connotation to it. Oh, Did no. you have any negative connotation to taping friends? When said in a joking way, then, you know, you're making fun of someone for meaning. But honestly, it's just our norm. Yeah, yeah because, that's what I was going to say, yeah. Because it is. our... We have seasons, yeah. right? It, and we're so used to... We have to fully commit to the next thing. Because... What's our performance gonna be like, or what's our job gonna be like if we don't fully commit to that set? Exactly. exactly. And then your next set, you gotta fully commit to that one. No, and I feel like when when you establish a connection with your co-actors, lumalabas din yun when you're in the scene. So if, for example, like our characters are married, then we're definitely going to have like a certain kind of relationship. But thankfully, we're already married. Nandun na rin yun. <laughs> but like for example, like it's my first time working with you. It's my first time working with Lian. So. Personally, I wanted to really get to know you guys, and if that evolved into something outside of taping, then great. If not, I was already able to establish a good connection with you guys that would translate onto the set yeah. itself. And then it would be easier for us to work with each other, I felt, if you established yeah, that Yeah, for sure. For Just for comfort levels especially. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I agree with that, but looking even bigger, zooming out even more, looking big picture, I mean, it's part of the journey. Like you yeah. said, we're taping for three to four months. We mm. do this, what, once, twice, sometimes thrice a year. So for what, the past 15 years, half our lives. So on a personal level, like what's the point of going through all of this, half your life, and just quote unquote, half assing it with people around you. You yeah. might as well give Get your them, whole yeah. self or what you can give. Mm -hmm. And whatever that journey was, however short of time it is, even if it was in a capsule, in a mm -hmm. vacuum, okay, lang, it is what it is. Yeah. So yeah. looking back at all my previous shows, worked with Andre a lot, worked with Dion. Yeah. We never talked after Amaya. But now that we're back, parang, you just kind of yeah. like jump off from where you last That's left off. off. Yeah. So for me, because it's no hard feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you said, like you said, it is the norm. Yeah, and it's a survival. No one ever checked thing, on yeah. me. I don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. whatever, like let's say, if we don't work together in, uh, for the next five years, and then five years from now we work together, we talk again, we're probably gonna jump off the same place. Yeah, true. And then yeah. I set up and I found out, yeah, dude, we were cool. We're still probably we gonna be cool now. We established our base. Yeah. Baseline. Our yeah. baseline. Yeah, so th that's how I feel about taping friends. I just wanted to say that. Cause yeah, that it's, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, it's something that I thought about also. No, parang it really is part of it. And I super, I've always loved like the journey of being with different groups and mm. teams and friends throughout the different projects that I've made. And I tell Bones that all the time. Like, I love like working with them during yeah. that project, etc., mm. etc. Et so that's just how I felt about it.